and have our mixed martial arts professional fight for you right here, right now. It is scheduled for three five-minute rounds of mixed martial arts action. Introducing first, making his way to the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, would you please put your hands together for Victor Kololo! Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a mixed martial arts professional competition of three five-minute rounds. This is brought to you by underarrest.co.nz, criminal defense lawyers. If you're in trouble with the police, call 0800-LET-ME-GO. And now introducing, fighting out of the blue corner, weighted 80.5 kgs with seven professional fights, five wins, two losses, represent, representing Shuriken, MMA, would you please put your hands together for Victor Dipped in Chocolate Kololo! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighted 80.2 kg, stays at 1.78 centimeters tall, with seven professional fights, six wins and one loss, representing city kickboxing. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Eugene Berman! Three fives in the bell rings event in charge is referee Terry Hill. Okay guys, you know the rules, I'm just gonna give you two commands, okay? When I say stop, you stop what you're doing. And just stop, all right? We may have to restart you in the middle of the ring, okay? And when I say fight, start or resume fighting. You understand? Let's go to work, guys. MMA shark. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. Two very good fighters, of course. A lot of support here for Round Eugene one. because he used to be a very good Thai boxer. And Victor Kalolo, a young fighter who really backs himself. And this is, uh, I was talking to him at the uh, fights the other night, and he, he is uh, a really grateful for the opportunity. Eugene asked him to fight him. And he, he took that as a real compliment, you know, Eugene being such a respected fighter. Very good fighter, very smart fighter. So, uh, but I tell you what, Kalolo's doing the right thing here. He didn't want to do the stand-up with him. Yeah. With a real yeah, fast tie boxer, that's probably a good option. I exactly, and uh, Victor said he, he, at the weigh-in the other day that he was... Um, more happy with the way he is he said i'm just as fit as i was for the last one but i didn't have to take the weight off so i feel a lot stronger so this is more to his likings this weight trying to work the front of the thighs both fighters doing that with their knees and get another one goes in from kololo oh 
Excellent work from both guys. And back up on his feet, yeah. Great work. Yeah. That, that, that's more, we didn't see that the last time. He was uh, physically drained and he was mentally not there, he said, the other, the other night. So you can see that he's sharp tonight, Chuck. Well, looking good. Looking good here in round number one. But as we know with Eugene Beerman, and of course, this, the is professor. The, this is the comeback for Eugene Behrman. We saw him in the kickboxing ring earlier in the year up against the Red and Gilbert. Uh, that was the first time he'd been back in the ring since that oh, horrible broken leg that he suffered. Oh, he's got his back. And good work from him to turn around, almost get the back of oh, Kalolo. He's, he's Kalolo. doing a good job here tonight. And Behrman going for the single leg takedown. Takes him away from the ropes and thumps him down in the centre. Got side control. Of course, Behrman a very popular fighter in both codes, both the kickboxing circles and the MMA circles. Looking and to get a good all-round guy. As to is Victor Kalolo, I've got to know him a little bit over the last few months. And uh, he, he's a, a really nice guy and I'm expecting big things of him in the future. Whether he's good enough to turn the tables on Eugene Beerman here tonight remains yeah. to be seen. Doing everything he can to get not let, let uh, Eugene pass his guard. The north-south throws in some strikes there. Works his way back into the side. Having trouble getting over that leg, Kalolo. Yeah, fighting out of the well. Shuriken Gym, trained by Jason Vorster, of course, over there on the shore. And a very strong gym. Hold their own shows. The next show's in October, I think. There we see the first forearm. So not too much striking, in, or in fact, none at all until that, that so shot. Great there. strength there, Kalolo. And now, he just stands Kalolo. up and he's back out. Drink but again. not too far out. He not wants to hold. No? Okay. He's going to go for some stand-up here. And of course, uh, Behrman, such a good kickboxer. Everybody uh, expects him to want to stand and deliver. But his first three MMA fights, they were all wins. They were all submissions, and they were by arm bars. <laughs> so, so, you know, just shows the guy's versatility. Terry Hill is the referee for this one. Of course, uh, if you've got Fanta Adipong, you've got John Conway, and you've got Terry Hill riffing on the night, and there's an MMA fight, you know who you're going to go for. The other guys would probably do a good job too, but the experience of Terry Hill is well sought after right Hello. throughout the country. Hello, picking himself here on the outside. Uh, pretty brave. This, this is more like the Kalolo of old. And uh, just another indication of uh, how much that uh, taking the weight off and, and cutting weight can really affect you because he was a shadow of himself in his uh, previous fight. Ooh, he lets go with a dangerous left hand. Turn himself out in amazing condition. Wow. Wow, good work from Eugene. It, it was. End of round one. Right at the end of the round. Interesting round, that one. Well, MMA officials New Zealand are the sanctioning body for this fight. Neil Swales, Nick Ovens, and the commissioner. Right, stay in there. Listen to me. Listen to me. Right? What he's going to do is always going to keep ducking because you are not looking where you're hitting. Right? Little shots, tricks, chip away at his face. He's going to come underneath, bend knee. Okay? Yeah? Bang, right up bang, bang. Right up Little bits. Right? Little bits, bang. Little bits, bang. He's going to come out and want to take it down and control you. When he gets you, if he comes in, both hands in. One hand in, both in. He gets his hip. Hip. Yeah? Keep his hip up. Oh, very good first round, a very technical Ice. first round. round Extremely two. so. Yep. We're seeing two, two uh, definite 
highlighters here tonight. MMA, very, very strong. Fights last night over in the Teatitu Peninsula. MMA fights, submission fighting, kickboxing and boxing, all on the same card chart. Excellent night it was too. 19 fights. Eugene going down for that single leg takedown again. Kalolo. Been, oh, oh, we've got the big dump again. Shows the strength of Behrman. He hasn't let go of that head though, and you can see he's got it locked in. Oh, he has. He's got, a, a fair he's got his hands. Grip on there. He's got his hands in a. In a oh, yeah, no, but only one, so uh, he's not going to be able to hold it. Behrman. He'll pop out. Yeah. <laughs> he's pretty strong, isn't he? You know, he's to be able strong. to hold that with one, one arm for a while. But uh, Behrman. And he's got his legs locked up. Well, we've seen him escape from this position in round number one, but now Behrman working his way. Yeah, you see the right hand give a little bit of free space over the top. Well, and now he's got punch. Getting past the guard. Yeah. Doing a good job uh, of guarding at the moment and Behrman trying to change things up and down, down downstairs first and then over the top. Nice combination. Fast striking. He's wrapped up. The legs are locked in. Kalolo. And he'll be trying to grab an arm. And look at that. He's getting his feet up, ready to try and escape. Yeah. Three five-minute rounds, so plenty of time for Behrman going to the ground so early in the round. Managed to get a bit of leverage behind that one. And Kalolo <laughs> trying to delay things, wait until Behrman's got his weight in a different position and maybe escape like he did earlier on. He gets, oh, I thought he was just... Yeah, yeah. Bit, yeah. Rocked into his feet. yeah, just trying to grab the arm. Behrman uh, has been pretty relentless since they went to ground. I think that one might have just got through a little bit. So a few of those, oh, that one definitely did. And he's in a little bit of trouble here. Terry Hill keeping a close eye on things. Copped a couple of uh, clean shots there. And another one, that right hand starting to find a, a home from Behrman. Yeah, that's the old hammer fist going down. And you can't push him forward anymore because you push him out of the ring. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, those are the shots. And he knows that and he tries to bring him back in and save him. I don't know how many of the Chinese have, that are here tonight have seen MMA up close and personal, but they're getting, <laughs> getting a bit of an uh, introduction to it here. Behrman finds an opening. Terry Hill still doesn't look too panicked about it, so he's yeah, satisfied that Kalolo's still doing a good enough job as far as the guarding is concerned. But his biggest risk here is that he's going to go out of, outside the ring. I'm not sure if the rules after this, if they'll restart it, they won't look like an elbow. Another Forearm one. going down. Kalolo doing a good job job is to, to be still there because we've, we know the power of Behrman. Now he starts to get the hammer fist going. Terry Hill steps in closer, pulls it off. It's all over. And Eugene Behrman, a successful return to the ring, the MMA ring that is. And Victor Kalolo, well, he, he tried hard and he was, it was his big opportunity to show through. He's going to lose no friends here tonight. He tested um, Eugene in round number one, and I'm pretty sure Eugene will have some encouraging words for him down there in the corner. Um, only a young fighter with a good future ahead of him. Eugene Behrman is back on track chart. That's the, uh, well, everybody in the MMA circles would be pretty happy about that. Ladies and gentlemen, with 46 seconds left in round number two, your winner, due to strikes, fighting out of the red corner, Eugene Perryman! 
Excellent work. Wow. And the prize giving by the fresh fish, Steve Boat Restaurants. <laughs>